many times has it crossed your mind when you're in need of care? Who can I turn to while I'm in despair? Well, I thought about it and I prayed about it. Is here for you, and you can count on us. Elder help is here, don't be afraid. We are happy to show you the way. Hello, and welcome to Elder Help LV Senior Connection Television Show. I'm your host, Emily Crosby. Elder Help LV provides free resources and information to seniors and their families in the Las Vegas area. Today we're filming from the Kakarlan House, which is home to our Senior Emergency Housing Program. And my special guest is Esther from East Valley Family Services. Esther, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Emily. Oh, Pleasure, pleasure to have you. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about what East Valley Family Services does within our community? East Valley Family Services offers several programs in which to help the community through wellness and through education. We also try to reach the basic needs of a person in order to get them back into the community and lead successful lives. Great. Now I know there are many programs within East Valley. We're going to touch on one that I find just fascinating. But can you tell me a little bit more about the different areas East Valley Family Services deals in? Sure. We offer food assistance. We offer a voucher program. We offer uh, transportation services. We also offer uh, identification, job referrals even jobs. Oh wow, okay. So like I said, those are programs are great, but the one that I'm most interested in is the Money Follows the Person program. Can you tell me a little bit about what this program is all about? Sure, Money Follows the Person. In that program, what we try to do, Emily, is transition those that are in our nursing homes that want to leave the nursing homes. Mm -hmm. We try to trans we are capable of transitioning them out back into their homes, back into the community. Okay. Now what would that mean for someone to be transitioned from a skilled nursing facility into their home? Like with that, is that is do you have you found that it makes, you know, that person or the senior citizen happier, the family? Like what have you found? Well, we've discovered that a lot of our clientele that are that we've we've helped, once we uh, look back at the prog progress in which these individuals have made, they are so happy that they took part in this program that they were able to be helped. Wow! But however, our program we have certain criteria in which we have to follow right. in order to even qualify for this program. So how can one qualify for the program? First of all, you have to have Medicaid. Okay. You require that you have Medicaid and or you're in the process of receiving Medicaid. Uh, you have to be, uh, have some type of illness which can be taken care of within the community, meaning okay. we have several resources in which um, are, can be aligned to whatever it is, whatever chronic illness that you suffer from. So. Um, that's number two. And then number three is you have to um, be in a facility for at least 90 days, 90 consecutive days, in order to qualify for our program. Okay. What type of services can um, a senior citizen hope to be provided by taking advantage of this program? Well, um, if this person qualifies for this program, this person is assigned a coordinator. Okay. You are assigned someone to walk you step by step through the process so that um, maybe you're not aware of a certain type of resources in the community. Maybe you're not aware of housing and maybe you're not aware of, of uh, a dental office or a doctor's office. 
So we, we, we have someone assigned to your case. So this person walks you through. So um, let's say that you have some type of um, chronic illness where you're not able to walk or you, you need a wheelchair. We offer wheelchair assistance. Okay. We, we will even build a ramp to help you get in and out of your home safely. Wow. And so we also have um, transportation services. There are a lot of different services that you would qualify for within this program called Money Follows a Person. What is the purpose for this program? I mean, it, it sounds amazing that you're able to, you know, have senior citizens transition from a skilled nursing facility into their home, but really, what is the purpose East Valley Family Services is trying to convey by putting this program into action? That's a really good question, Emily. <laughs> what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring awareness to what's going on in the state of Nevada. It is costing us a tremendous amount of money to keep someone in a nursing facility that mm -hmm. doesn't want to be in the nursing facility. So, matter of fact, it's, it's, it, we have a cost savings of over 85% to the state if, wow. when, if we're able to get these people out and back into their community where they can take advantage of the different resources that are available within the community. Also, this will create jobs. So, uh, to answer your question, what we're trying to do is make that transition for those that qualify for the program, make that transition of these people back into the community. Okay. So again, the criteria, the three criteria that someone has to have in order to qualify for this program would be they would have to be in a skilled nursing facility for 90 days. Yes, 90 consecutive days. 90 consecutive 90 days. days. Consecutive. Okay, yes. and then they'll also have to be a part of Medicaid. Yes, they have to have Medicaid, Medicaid compliant. Medicaid compliant. And then the third would be they have to have some form of ailment that can be taken care of within the community. Within our, within our great community. Okay. Now, a little bit about you. Um, you sound very passionate about what you're doing with East Valley Family Services. How did you come about working with them? Well, um, I met uh, someone that was a representative of this program, Money Follows the Person, at a networking event. And uh, we just hit it off. <laughs> My background is in gerontology. I have a master's degree in gerontology. So um, I'm used to working with seniors. I really enjoy working with seniors. So this was a perfect fit for me. This was, for, for, this was a way for me to help thousands of people. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everything that you do and the Money Follows the Program with East Valley Family Services has definitely, I know, helped lots of people and will continue to help people within our community. Thank you for being here today. Um, if you or someone you know is interested in anything that you've heard today, you can visit East Valley Family Services website. Right. Can you give them that website address? I certainly can. <laughs> Our website is eastvalleyfamilyservices.org. Our address is 1800 East Sahara Avenue, Suite 117 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Great. And then if you know anyone that's in need of other resources, in addition to what we spoke about today, you can visit Elder Help's LV's website at www.elderhelplv.org and just click on our preferred providers. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. How many times has it crossed your mind when you're in need of care? Can I turn to while I'm in despair? Well, I thought about it and I prayed about it, and you're not alone. Elder help is here for you, and you can count on us.